All right, folks, another Wednesday here, day number 129 into the year. So, journalist hangout is hotting up. Today on the program, let's tell you this. APC to conduct fresh primary in Ekiti State, just as PDP candidate emerges. Police parade major gun runners in Benue Taraba Axis, just as Senate summons service chiefs over arms proliferation. And later on, Nigerian Air Force neutralizes Boko Haram terrorists in Koleram, Borno State. I'll be hanging out with uh, Baba Jide Kolade Otitanyu. Jide, I greet you. Welcome. I greet, I greet you too. And uh, we have uh, Adekunle Yusuf. I greet you, sir. I'm glad to be here. The team is ready. I hope you are. All right then, the botched primary of the All Progressives Congress APC of May the 5th in Ekiti State is to be repeated this Friday. The last exercise was characterized by violence, a development which the party hierarchy dismisses as condemnable. To add though that the ruling PDP had a smooth ride when the state deputy governor Professor Kolapo Olushala emerged the party flag bearer at the July 14th governorship polls. Chidi, you know, APC now, sometimes you wonder if politicians don't often act knowingly against their interests. Politics is an interest-driven game. Okay. Whatever you see a politician do, it couldn't have been against his interest. Even if he chose to stand down in a contest, it must have been because someone appealed to him or her, or she did it in anticipation of uh, some form of reward uh, down the line. So what is an interest-driven game, and the players are always driven by a desire to have their... But you get the impression that in Nigeria, yes. the game has no rules. The game has rules. It just happens to be that um, many of the players uh, bad, bad competitors, sportsmen. bad sportsmen, and uh, often bad losers at the end of the day. That's why you see clearly a person who everything put together cannot win a contest would, even after he's been roundly defeated, go to court and go and waste uh, ill gotten so, ill gotten money. You know yeah. so. It's, 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 it can't it's, be his money. Yes, it can't be his money that mm -hmm. weighs like that. Look at the contest in the kitty. The APC guys, there are 33 of them, and not one person is ready to, is to even stand down. Not one person. E even as we speak? Up to now. Even after the meeting mm -hmm. with the Southwest uh, leaders uh, yesterday, you know, uh, at the instance of President Buhari, there was a meeting yesterday to try and uh, hammer out. Um, a deal, but not one of them, not one of them was ready to step down. They said, okay, what we'll do is anyone who elects to stand down will have his, uh, form uh, uh, his uh, the fee that he paid for the form or refunded to him. But as we speak, nobody has uh, agreed to step down. About and interests. we know that some of them, we know that there are many of them who do not even have electoral value who have no business contesting in that uh, election. They have no electoral value, they cannot win, but they are the only ones who can ex explain why they are in that, in that race. Kule, yes, he has said politics is, a, is an interest-driven game. So whose interest are we serving here? If you, if you had, uh, I mean, the APC is expecting to, um, to chase away the PDP in AKT state, and this, the fountain of knowledge is keeping a lot of us guessing, Kunle. Ideally, it should be the people's interest, the public interest. But with the nature of our politics, it's unfortunate it is the other way around. So, and when you look at what happened in AKT, how would 33 people? score up because of one slot. And at the end of the day, 
it ended in a fiasco. And no one up to now, look, Jiddy said it there, no one has even come out to say, okay, I'm stepping down. Especially when the leadership of the party has come into it, that if you come in, you have nothing to lose, mm -hmm. we'll refund your money. What does that say? It is, is it about the public interest or personal interest? Look at the desperation. You see leaders. I mean, would you not describe Baba Femi Judo as a political leader in the state? Would you not describe Engineer uh, Shegwoni as a political leader in the state? What of uh, the Minister for Mines and Steel, Dr. Uh, Fayemi? When you see elders at that, that level that trading abuses mm. because of a political contest, believe me, it says a lot about the level of public service in Nigeria. Mm. I felt extreme, especially when they were doing it, I felt extremely, you know, disappointed when I read from the camp of the person I consider as the only regent to in the contest, who is Engineer uh, Segoni. When I saw that he too joined as a god, <laughs> something is wrong somewhere. So it's not about, it goes beyond this interest we are talking about. <laughs> it must be something else. Uh, because yeah, well, you can't in, reinvent the wheel. But, Jide, you can polish that same wheel. You can polish that wheel. But the thing is, it's still their interest at the end of the day. If my interest in getting involved in the contest is to ensure that somebody does not win, it's still my interest. Okay. That's the way they see it. You see, the, 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 okay. the interest... I'm, I'm not likely to win, but you said no I go. will not let you win. Yeah. I will do whatever it takes <laughs> to stop you. So it's still his interest. It may be negative interest. The interest may be really against the grain, but it is still his interest. That is why he is in that contest. You know, we, we would think, oh, it's in the contest to win. No. There is no way I can be convinced that all 33 of them are in that contest to win. No, it's just That's not possible. Not true. It's unusual. Not, it's not true. It's unusual. <laughs> and for all 33 to still remain in the race as we speak, when I know that some of them can't even defeat me in a contest. Don't go. Because I, no matter what you say, no, GDA does not have electoral value. I'm telling you there are people on that uh, list Pule of 33. Because Ekiti is he's an abducted... Ab there, there are people on that stage. list of 33 <laughs> who do not have electoral value. We say we are deceiving ourselves. Who cannot even become a councillor? Yeah, they can't win a contest for a councillorship position. But they are not... You see, it is the... Fair enough if you say you are not going to stand down for anyone. But the bile, the rancor, the bad blood, that they brought into this contest is what has put the APC to shame in Ekiti State. Yeah. And to know that a man that we say so much about his, uh, his, his style, his cantankerous style, is the one who is now, now it, showing us set, how set, it set, is done. He's setting the rules there. Showing us how it is done. Mm. <laughs> Rank of free contest. Yesterday I watched, I was, uh, Adeyeye. Adeyeye was, <clears throat> whispering to the heirs of uh, Eleka. They were sitting side, side by side. And he commended the process. You know, I mean, even the, mm -hmm. you, the, uh, you and I, mm -hmm. like, like we do when we finish, journalists uh, and girls will go and sit down there and we'll be gisting and all that. I'm saying that that was what I saw. I saw something similar to that. They, it's like they were even enjoying the contest. Mm -hmm. They are showing leadership. And in the moment, mm -hmm. uh, my adopted senator, uh, Abiodun Lujimi, discovered that she will not win the race. Right that. there, before the, the contest began, she said, look, I'm teaming up with Adeyeye. And then the contest went on. Nobody threw a punch. Yeah. Nobody threw a punch. Nobody used harsh words on anyone. Unexpectedly. That's why I said the person who has a reputation for modeling the, the <laughs> waters is the one who has now come. Oh, national exam. <laughs> he has now set an example. He, uh, he, he has now set an exemplary, <laughs> exemplary example for the APC to copy. You know, it, it, it's a bad day. It's a bad day in the history 
of APC. Not only on account of what happened, yeah. the, the brigandage that we saw, the, 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 the toggery on and display, the but oh. to put the negative icing on the cake, Fayoshe and Co. organized that thing and it went well. I mean, people Show should really... On live TV. On, shown on live TV. People should really be ashamed of themselves. It, that I, this I, is the man who has set an example for them. As they say, Kule, in my part of the world, as if all crickets in the village were dead. So no noise. I'm talking about the PDP. Yes, now, let, 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 Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu has a tall order here. The president said, look fight the fire within the party. This is another fire to fight. You see, when the fight broke out during the primary of APC, you know, some thoughts, you know, raised through my mind. You know, you see an Ashwaju who say, you know, party primaries for, for party primaries sake is meaningless. That it's always very good for party leadership you know, to wade in and reconcile. Has it not been proved right now? Mm. I don't know whether you got the point I wanted to yes. make. That there should always be a guided primary. That was what happened yeah. in mm. the no, 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 Guided PDP. primary. Yes, guided primary. Yeah. With the PDP. Fire should thoroughly guided the process. Of course, you see stakeholders, you see a lot of interest, but it was able to harmonize the whole interest. I would say, okay, even after my candidate has won, because he identified with the candidate. That's it. And he didn't hide it. Immediately, he said he will lead a powerful delegation to the home of the loser mm -hmm. so that For the consultation. we are all winners place. if we hold. Now, in this. Because in the, the battle ahead in is the APC, very important, very key. In the yeah. APC, in the past, you will see Ashwaju wanting to do this. But many of these things of late will backfire. What happened? Ashwaju said, I have switched into neutral mode in Nekiti. I have no preferred candidate. Go and do it. Whoever wins, I support. That anybody that wins is my candidate. He didn't identify with anybody, even though you can link all of them one by one to Ashwaju. Well, yeah. But at the end of the day, what has happened? So. It's like Yoruba will say, Orotani ki baba magbo. Baba no pare. Baba no, luchishima wa pare eni. They talk where we say, make papa no here. Yes. Now papa, papa settle up. Yes, you won't rule out the headers. Mm. Yeah. Now, what has happened? So, uh, is baba is, making, is, is it possible, mm. do you foresee a situation <laughs> where 33 people I'm calling, will come out it? in Lagos? No, 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 you, because <laughs> it's part of what you... Okay, you, in Lagos... Is it a possibility that 33 persons will no, get up you, in Lagos will not happen. as because covert, an, as, 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 uh, as beautiful an as an the Lagos governorship position is? Uh, hey, Anashuaju would have it's called yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Anashuaju would have called you that, oh, hello, citizens, I know you are good this, you are good this. Mm. But go and weigh your options. And you know, you will understand what that means. Mm, that. Yeah. So that iniquity, what we are going to see tomorrow, I want to see whether... Friday. It's, no, I think it's, it is, it's Wednesday. It's, it's, it's Wednesday. It's, okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Friday. Well, we need to even know whether the proposition made by those Southwest leaders whether they the will party accept. we accept it or not. Until the, then, comes. Then the next 24 hours will determine. Yeah. I, I am foreseeing a situation that some of the candidates will kick against it. Yes. In, in attempting to take it home, um, APC came as, in 2015, as a credible alternative. Three years down the line, the same APC is uh, belly aching from all angles. And so you are wondering, is it an overflow of interest or what? There is indeed an overflow of interest and tendencies. And um, you see, when you make yourself wide open to all comers, and you tell us, oh, the constitution says people are free to associate this and that. <laughs> Meanwhile, by that same constitution, you can excuse 
people of crooked character from joining your party. That constitution allows you to. Because all you need to do is when the constitution says they should go, the electoral house says they should go and register at the world level, you can stop them at that level. But if you, you choose to do that, you allow all kinds of people to come in. The, big, the problem that the APC has now is that some of the people who do not deserve to be in the party are already there. And some of them are even oh, yeah. calling the shots. Yeah. Some of them are holding a critical positions in the party. And they are, by their bad antecedents and bad nature, making life difficult even for, by, the, by, decent by, people, by the, by for the decent people in the party. By their fruits. All right, Femi is here in Lagos. We have dragged him. Welcome, Femi. Hello, good to all of you. I greet you, yeah. Yeah, what I'm saying is that uh, more the merrier for the state. The only thing that they need to do is to do a transparent primary. If they do a transparent primary, and whoever wins, it will be clear. So the only thing is that they should do a, the more the merrier. It's good for every, all of them. You want more than title three? Whoever <laughs> comes out as the winner of that primary is the best thing for the Egyptian people. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. The more the merrier. In politics, I'm wondering if that plays out. The more the merrier. It's a good thing in One politics. One seat, 33 contestants. Yes, it, go, it is good for the party. Don't see it as a okay. negative thing. Okay. It creates more momentum, creates more interest, more membership, more you know, resources. You know, It's very good for the party. You will see what has happened now with the APC. The best option, the guy just said it is to use the same old system that failed them. But this time around, make it thoroughly transparent. Okay, 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 if not, yeah. some of these characters will go to court, some will defect, because many have you know, carried out all their plans based. Couldn't let you call them characters. No, 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 some of these politicians, oh, please. Okay, yeah. okay, I'm sorry. Many of these you know, political players have based their own planning on what they know the party will do, which is open and transparent, you know, primaries. If you bring direct, indirect, or whatever now, I'm, I'm afraid the, there will the, be defections. The, 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 whatever happens, there will be defections. Mm. Even, if, like even if you bring Jesus Christ to conduct the primaries, there will be defections. There will be defections. Yes, I'm unfortunate. very certain about I'm that unfortunate. because of the bad blood. You see, there are among those candidates, there are people who have not spoken to one another for up to yeah. three years. That I know who are contesting against one another. Okay. There are some of them among who the cannot sit among, among these leader. contestants who cannot sit beside one another. They will even come to blows if they should sit beside one another. I yeah. know them. We can't mention them here. But what? Let me round up before we go. What the leaders of the Southwest are proposing is direct primaries, meaning that. All card carrying members of the APC in, one, in the 177 wards in the kitty should be free to elect whoever the, they want yes. as their candidate. But I'm not sure that so a, a lot of these guys will not kick against that. That would be more but chaotic. But it, 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 it will be more chaotic, and you need mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. and resources to organize that. Between but the specter of delegates being bribed recklessly. As we have seen yeah. in our recent past, that, that will be that will take the, care of it. Uh, because uh, how many people are you going to bribe? Oh yeah, okay. In all the towns, are you how uh, many people are you going to bribe? All right, the viewer must understand. Here we are talking about the irreconcilable conflict of interest. Here, you know, in politics, we are told, especially in Nigeria, two times two is always twenty-two. And now, when we return, police parade major gun runners in Benue Taraba axis, just as someone, a Senate, someone service, service chiefs, beg your pardon, over arms proliferation. Please stay with us. All right, welcome back. The world over, next to narcotics and human trafficking, Gun running is the most thriving illicit trade, uh, both in legal and black markets. In our jurisdiction here, where the border crossings are ever so porous and the political atmosphere so charged, gun running becomes a veritable pastime. The police high command on Tuesday paraded suspected 
gun runners believed to be behind incessant killings in Benue and Taraba states. The Nigerian Senate is not amused either. Um, this cycle, Jide, is on and on and on and on. Now, in the picture, we have established gun runners, suspected gun runners. Um, so gun runners thrive um, in wartime. They don't thrive in peacetime. And to gun runners, war should never end. Uh, I recall uh, Charles Hawker and Henry Hawker, you know, uh, children of a uh, Nigerian naval officer, but they had been working with militants for years. Henry Hawker, for example, had been a gun runner in South Africa and in Angola supplying weapons to Angola rebels and the rest of them. And by the time the amnesty uh, program kicked off and peace came, naturally, those who had been used to making money from selling weapons, they can't be excited. Obviously. They can't be excited. So what was left? Oka wanted Jonathan to um, make him happy in inverted commas by giving him an oil block. So Jonathan declined. That was the source of their conflict. And then he broke out of the mainstream end and organized the October 1 bombing. Yeah. I'm just using this as, a, as illustration. Now, for these guys, why well, I'm impressed because we are now attacking this problem from different angles. Abba Kiari, who is one of Nigeria's uh, finest, uh, finest uh, police officers. There are three of them that I respect so much. Abba Kiari, Olatujidisu in Lagos, and the current police commissioner in Lagos State. Those guys, you know, you, 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 have, you, you have a feeling that the, any challenge, that they can defeat any challenge thrown in their part. What they are trying to do now is, the soldiers, soldiers arrested 162 killer headsmen. Out of this 162, 147 were arrested in Benue alone, because Benue is the epicenter of the war. Now they've moved from simply arresting headsmen to identifying source of weapons. And you know the IG said there should be a na nationwide mop up of illicit weapons. Yeah. You know. So now these these guys are the ones who sell weapons to the the fighters. Do, do we know where they possibly get them from? No, from the black market, they will get it from black market, even uh, um, the, the, the border with Chad and all that. The Chadian rebels, when they are hungry on the war front, they are ready to set their weapons. So well, there are weapons everywhere. Now, the, what has happened is, for any war to continue, there must be access to weapons. That is why Boko Haram, from time to time, will attack an army base. Why do they do that? They want to seize the, uh, gun they trucks. For the armory. Yes, yeah. they want to seize gun trucks. They want to seize APCs. Remember when they attacked Difa in the Niger Republic recently? They took away APCs, which will make the, the uh, enemy stronger. Please, APCs are not personal carriers. Are not carriers, yeah, for not those. Uh, all progressive. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So now, these guys, they've gone after them. The only thing I'm, I'm, I'm surprised and disappointed about is when some Nigerians saw the list, they are now saying, hey, we said it. That is these people killing themselves, but they fail to realize that on that long list, seven of them were arrested for kidnapping. They need to go and read yeah. all the people oh, yeah. who write rubbish on Facebook. Oh, okay. They need to go and read the police statement. Seven, only three were that were, were gun runners. Seven of them were arrested for being uh, for planning to kidnap someone. So the, the, those seven were kidnapped suspects. They are not even gun runners. They are not gun runners. But I am happy that we are attacking the problem on all fronts. Once we stop the, the access of these guys to the illicit weapons that they use, I'm telling you, the war, invariably the killings will end. And if you look at the last two weeks, now, in Benue, the killings have stopped. But they've moved to... Uh, no man in uh, Adama State because this afternoon they still kill 10 people in no man. They've moved to no man that they are killing people in no man. So as we block a problem, these bad people, they move to somewhere else. So 
the, the, the Benue is becoming more peaceful. Taraba, there is calm in Taraba now because of the extensive work that they need. Relative to the... Yes, Taraba. no more, those yeah. killings have stopped. Yeah. But they, they, they need to address the fact that these guys have now appear to have left Benue alone and they've gone to uh, Adama State. Fully, my, 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 what trips me here is the IG intelligence response team uh, and then the police special forces. It tells you if we want to do it, we would do it. Certainly. But the will, we talk about the will to want to do it. The problem we have is we don't have, some of our institutions are still very, very weak. You are made the head of a security outfit and you are watching the body language of Mr. President. So, sorry, let me you pause wonder here. Why? Let, let me pause a little. Ricky, cannot wait. Uh, Ricky, welcome. You are in River State. Welcome. Yes, uh, good evening. Yeah, Ricky. Good evening. Okay. Uh, I agree to what you did. I agree to you too. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about uh, these uh, arms uh, people bringing in arms to, uh, selling arms to the people out there. I think uh, the military should do more to cope this uh, incident uh, 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 character, as well as if they cannot cope, they should, I mean, in fact, they should do more because we need them to protect us. Please. All right. All right. All right. You. We couldn't agree more with you. Mm, yes. So be, because it can be done, you, it, if you. Of course, it can be done. We have some of our policemen are extremely professional. You know, I, I, sorry, Abba Kari was in Lagos. Yes. Became. You know what he did. Everybody knows. Yes. Yeah, so when I heard his name in, the in military, that access, in the military, you have them, yeah. sound minds, professionals, good, patriotic ones. But the truth is that when it comes to the leadership. Sometimes we don't not, have our best. Not lucky. Mm. I'm sorry to say it. You look at the quality of policing in the last few years. It's been bad. Yeah. Believe me, it's been bad. I have to be very honest. You look at intelligence gathering from across the board, all our security agencies. In the last few years, it's been extremely poor. What I expect the federal government to do is to declare like a day or two National arm, I mean, I mean, uh, arms mop up, mop up mm. day, yeah. and yeah. encourage everybody. You can do it as amnesty. Yeah. That within social time and social time, if you release all what you have, mm. you will not be prosecuted. You, you, have in, in, you will. And so on. You are going to do this. You are going to do that. You need to mop up the quantity of illegal arms in the hands of Nigerians. Nobody knows how many. Nobody. It's alarming. So. We need to. Okay, I'm, I'm sure you don't want to know how, how many, or you want to leave this studio. <laughs> o, o, okay, okay, okay then. Um, just to say, it, it is said that society will prepare the crime, the criminal commits it. Our borders are still porous. You know, we, we, we can't stop talking about that. Is it something we cannot arrest? I've seen the customs. Arresting, I mean, at our entry point, consignment that would be declared maybe as granules, and when they just, you know, they have to do sampling. You see, guns. I think at a point, the head of Nigerian Customs had to visit, is it not uh, India? I think one Tokyo. country recently. Is it Tokyo? Tokyo? Yeah, yeah. Because I remember that. He yeah. was so concerned that why is it that? This thing is coming from one particular source all the time. Mm -hmm. You have to lead the delegation to the place to find out what, why are we different? You are sending guns but, to But us. you know these things are better checkmated at the point where you load them onto <laughs> ship, pre-shipment inspection. Why is it that when you declare your shipment as A, and when it gets to our border, it turns to B? Because it's Nigerian. He, 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 he's not giving us a bad name. No. Oh, is the is the is the fraudulent um, clearing agents? Fraudulent clearing agents who are behind all of this. Sometimes too, 
Nigeria is actually not even the final destination. Okay. So since I heard there somewhere, I say just the, we intercept. It's just a, a stop over. Yes, it. we intercept and discover. Oh, this is what is here. Look at um, from India. The, the customs discovered two containers of tramadol, twenty-two ml. Ideally, it should be fifty that uh, a normal human being should ingest. Yeah. And these guys are sending tramadol. 225. 225 yes. milli milligrams. Yes, that's what they, 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 and they send them, and they wrote for export only, designated for export only, which means they are not prepared to let Ramadan kill their own people, but they can afford to send yeah. that uh, level to Nigeria. So, like times five. Yes, hmm. that, that, that's what it is. So now, this tramadol gets sent to some states. In fact, in Nadama State the other day, tramadol, a trailer load of tramadol that was going to Sambisa Forest to be fed to Boko Haram uh, fighters was intercepted. Be because they need it? Yes, they, they use, use it. it. They are he they're heavily for their, on drugs. For, for, for their nerves. They are on drugs. Nobody on his own will just be misbehaving the way Boko Haram misbehaves, except they are heavily they on to drugs. to be induced, yeah. yes. So they give the, like they want someone to go and uh, kill people. Yeah. Strap bomb to, to, to his own yeah. body. If, if, if they have to first turn him to an animal, to someone who cannot explain his actions before they send him out. So they drug them heavily and then they go out and then do kill people. So they, the Ramadan was headed for Sambisa Forest and then it was uh, intercepted. So, it's, and our borders, just as you said, are porous. There are too many illegal entry points. Yes. We have to solve that problem. When we solve that problem, the militia that is killing people, running riot in the North Central, we won't be able to enter our country. Some of the mercenaries that Boko Haram uses, because some of the people that Boko Haram uses are from Chad and Niger Republic, they won't be able to come into our so, country. So, just a fortune. Yes. So just unfortunately, they just want to make their money. Just like this one, selling weapons. The ones who sell weapons, they are not the ones who kill people. Remember yeah. during, the, yeah. during the Civil War, even Britons were bringing weapons for Biafra yeah. uh, soldiers, and we arrested them. So that's the point that a lot of people don't realize. They think, oh, this, the people who sell these weapons are the ones who kill. No, they are just out mm. to make their money. They are in business. Yes. They are in business. Okay. So it, as it long as business, the killings yeah. continue, they will make money. Now, they, Kunle, they have arrested, we have seen faces paraded, and I hear they are going to be prosecuted. In the past, our collective experience is telling us that these, in, in the past, these investigations took us almost nowhere. So you can expect, you want to expect this time we'll get it right? Maybe, because we have seen this over and over and over, sometimes, Till administrations change, you forget about them, and later they are released. They say they have changed or this or that. I of the opinion that maybe this time around there may be the sincerity of purpose. That is to say, there will be more transparency in the whole process. People will be taken to court. They will be, you know, diligently prosecuted, and there won't be any issue of political or ethnic or religious, you know, meaning is right into it because them, yeah. that's one, some be, be, of the be, problems. Be, because you see, I'm, I'm seeing some of the names here. <laughs> Ma, I have a Maurice, Maurice Ash, Ashwe, Tewase Akwaza, Kabiru Idris, Miracle Emmanuel from Anambra State, uh, Hussein Safiyanu Taraba, Emmanuel Kwembe, and, and, and so on. Steven. You see some names that you wonder, are these Nigerian names? Yeah. Check very well. Mm. Names that look like Ghanaian names, you see they, I'm not saying they are from Ghana. Mm. I think one of them is even AKA Ghana. Maybe because yeah, okay, Ghana, Ghana, yeah. No, that's, that's, that's a Tewase. <laughs> that's, 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 no, that's the suspect. He's still wanted. Mm. Yeah. He's so, the head of the militia. Yeah. So He's when declared you, wanted by the police. When yeah. you look at all this and we begin to fight war against insecurity, you know, from the point of view of, I mean, from the national interest point of view, most of these problems can be handled. We have the good guys in the police. 
in the Air Force, in the Navy, in the, everywhere mm. that can do it. And so we talk about interagency cooperation, which is not quite... Still lacking. Uh, except no, that our, our next story will tell us something can be achieved in this direction, you know. The, uh, the DSS and the police need to work together, really. And defeating the, this um, killer headsman, a uh, menace. Yeah. They need to work together. And um, Abakari has shown that he has what it takes to make that happen. Because I remember a few months back, he arrested the leader of the killer headsman, a certain uh, Lagi. Lagi was hiding in the Tunga forest in Nasarawa state. And you know the, the tracking devices that they have. He was able to locate where Luga was hiding. Luga was the one who organized the killings mm -hmm. that happened in January. But they were able to locate him, the leader of the killer headsman. So he has shown that he can do that. They have the resources. They are, they are well equipped to do it. All that we require is for the DSS, which also has the capacity to do this kind of uh, intelligence work when they want to. Remember how they located Kabiru Sokoto, the Christmas Day bomber. Yeah, yeah. The Christmas Day bomber was hiding in Karim Lamido in uh, Taraba State, close to the border with, uh, with, uh, um, with uh, Cameroon. That was where he was hiding. And then he was hiding even inside his wardrobe. And they located him. Mm. They located him. So when the DSS want Not to do rocket science. Work, yes. When Pure they want science, to work, yeah. they yeah. will work. Yeah. And the police too have shown that when they are really motivated to work, they will work. Look at those guys and uh, those uh, uh, boys yeah. who kill people in Nofa. Yeah, the it didn't even take one week. Well, I, I, I saw the pictures and I'm, I'm asking, the same Nigeria police? Yes. yes. It didn't even take Nothing. one week. They rounded them up. And the ones that they, they, they still have not been able to arrest, they, they put out the their pictures, pictures. They have their needs. So all Nigerians need to do now is assist the police, they, provide information, that can lead to the arrest of those... Uh... We are opening another chapter to this discussion. Um, uh, volunteering information to the security agencies, Kunle, had all, all, always been uh, a big issue here. You can't trust the act that your information will be treated uh, in the strictest Because people, people don't have much confidence in the, in the police, let me even put it that way. Or if I'm trying, if I say all the security agencies in the police, mm. but, but is, some, something went wrong. Civil. Something went wrong at the no, time. People volunteered information because police will ask you. for information, yeah. and they will turn against. They will even turn against you. You have a lot of bad eggs in the police. There's no doubt about that. Go and take a small case to the you know, to the police station. You see that the man that should help you will turn to your enemy. And you're wondering so why. The, how do you expect that kind of citizen to come up and say, oh, I have this? It is now left to the leadership of the police to, to do things like this that would make people to trust them. People to, you know, because I imagine the, you, the people because are the, the if people willing cooperate to with them, it, yeah. If people cooperate with them, yeah. most of the problems will be yeah. solved. Yes. Because That's people, it. yes, the problems live with the people. <clears throat> they know many of the sources of the problems. They know many of the perpetrators. They can help the police. Yes. Yeah, I, they, they are criminals on, on, on street. Oh, yeah, they, they do. And, and you as a, a neighbor to a criminal, a suspect, mm. yes. you are afraid. You, 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 yeah. you don't feel sure because to look, go... If the criminal is in the habit of constantly giving money to the police, the police, if you go to report, the pol uh, report him to the police, the police would, because they don't want that stream of dirty money from the criminal <laughs> to end. They will tell the, uh, the criminal that, look, there is this fellow by the name Citizen. He is somewhere there, he's the one who told us that you live in the neighborhood. <laughs> and that person will come and then attack you. Abroad, old women, old men, they are the ones who, who leak secrets of criminals to, to the yeah, security yeah, agencies. Sorry, let, let me quickly take Sadiq. Thanks for your patience. Welcome. You are in Jigawa State uh, this Hello. evening. Welcome. Yeah, how are Hello, you? Good evening. Yeah, I'm I greet you. Sadiq. Um, 
I think uh, the issue of our Bini Taraba crisis, it started from the control of arms proliferation. Number one, if you can remember last time, the customs as in the Controller General of Customs, the number of arms has been uh, catching from the borders, from borders. You can imagine if all those arms were not intercepted, what would have happened? That's number one. And number two, our kinsmen and traditional rulers in the society and community, mm. they are not helping matters. Mm. If you ask them to show who are the perpetrators of a particular thing, they won't tell you this is the perpetrator. They are trying to hold, they are trying to hide their yeah. people from being prosecuted. So if you continue all these things, I don't think we are heading to somewhere. It will never stop. It's going to continue. And uh, uh, all right, Sadiq. God knows. Um, please. When we come back, we'll tell you about the gallant Nigerian Air Force pilots who successfully immobilized scores of Boko Haram terrorists um, at a place in Borno State. Koleram, I hope I got that right? Mm -hmm. Koleram in Borno State. Uh, please don't go. Okay then, I just told you, gallant Nigerian Air Force pilots successfully immobilized scores of Boko Haram terrorists at Koleram town in Borno State. The cheering news was pushed out by Air Force, uh, the Air Force's Director of Public Relations and Information, Air Vice Marshal Olato Kumba Adesoya, who also informed that the pilots provided close air support to ground troops. The sustenance of the onslaught is the necessary tonic required for weakening the insurgency. Yes. We talked about it a while back. That is what is required to defeat the insurgency. And I'm happy that the current um, commander of Operation Lafia Dole, Rujas Nicholas, yes. and the, the <coughs> GOC, 7th Division, and Yusuf, Major General, are working together. They are working together the way we've not seen in a long time. So it's not a question of, oh, um, soldiers are in trouble. The Air Force needs to beat a pathway for the soldiers to escape from the enemy. Mm. And the Air Force is not forthcoming. That is not happening. You need the Air Force, a very effective Air Force, to soften the enemy before <coughs> surface troops will now uh, take over the battle. That's we it. are seeing that happening. Now and um, every day, we are deploying our grand attack helicopter M1, M135 and the supersonic uh, jet F7 that we the Alpha jets uh, F7 that we brought uh, okay, from uh, Pakistan. Yeah, and then the Alpha jet as well. The Alpha jet is probably the oldest on the Nigerian fleet, but is still useful. Mm. It's been decommissioned in the UK. But it's still useful here. No. The Air Force has found a way to continue to use it, you know, and uh, you need to see those guys in action. You'll be really proud of them. So I'm happy that this is happening, but I'm also surprised that every week Boko Haram will attack a village either close to Maiduguri or not far away. It shows that as much as we are attacking these people, trying to wipe them out, they are never ending. And even an Air Force officer confided in me that the thing that bothers them the most is that as much as they are killing them day and night. They are becoming amphibious, more amphibious. You still see that. The next day you still see them. Yeah. I've seen <clears throat> communities where, when I travel with the Air Force, in those communities inside Sambisa, that the, the Air Force bombed them. They were in a meeting in a room, and then in a hall, and then they bombed them. I've seen them, I've seen the Air Force report that they went back there and still found people. Where the, where the place that was yes. bombed? Places where they, they wiped them out in the past. They are back there. <coughs> so I don't, I don't understand. It's a human thing. It has to be that these guys continue to get funding from outside Nigeria. Because how do you mobilize your fighters? How do you even get fighters? A lot of them can't speak Nigerian language. So that means they've got money to be able to lure fighters from Chad, from Niger Republic. 
that is what is happening. Kule, and the fear here is that you, 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 you are reminded of a Syria that's battling with insurgency, um, uh, Iraq, and name Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Or Pakistan. We are in for, a, and, and Pakistan, we are in for a long night. Yes, yes, we are in. And that is why some of us don't like the uh, technical defeat, uh, totally defeat, or you are weakened Boko Haram, but substantially Bukwara. degraded. Uh -huh, but <laughs> I will never buy the idea that uh, technically you know, they yeah. are still they are still they are catchphrases <laughs> coined by Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> but they still keep people. They yeah. still do out a lot of harm. If you want to win the war, there are so many strategies. Many of the strategies are not being put in place. The first one among them is what they just used, and everybody is happy now. Inter, inter, inter agency. The, the real yeah. power. Yeah. You can't fight an insurgency war without first of all capturing. I mean, you must use that power, you know. You have that a, a, a area of yeah, power. Area. Yes, yes. In area the air, combat, yes. Yeah. You look at the war in Syria, war in Afghanistan, everywhere. The American soldiers are not, you know, yeah, demigods. Yeah, remember Pre President the, Trump dropped MOAB, mother of all bombs. <laughs> so what we are trying to say is that the Nigerian Air Force has a big role to play. Yes. If we are to win the war against insurgency. The government should do everything to make sure that that arm of the military is extremely, you know, encouraged to do the work. That's too. Even the citizens. Yeah. The war should be, you know, our minds. Nobody is working on that. And Jide will say yes to this quadrangular thing: Nigeria, Niger, Chad, Cameroon. Yes. yes. Uh, the they, the countries know. of the Chad Basin, all those countries are battling Boko Haram. Ch uh, Cameroon has lost even generals in this war. It's just that people don't get to read about what Boko Haram uh, is doing in Cameroon. I remember one day we brought a Cameroonian journalist and he came with pictures of their soldiers that Boko Haram had killed, including a general, I think a two-star general. Hmm. So it's a big problem in northern Cameroon. They are battling with Boko Haram. And Boko Haram has recruited even Cameroonians. I remember in one, vi in one propaganda video that Boko Haram pushed out. The guy was speaking French throughout and he was displaying pictures of Cameroonian soldiers that they killed and displaying their, their uh, properties you know, that uh, they, 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 they took with them. So the countries need to work together. The problem now is that war is difficult to finance. And that is the reason the Chadian president <coughs> is not giving his best. Because he thinks that if he is to sorry, continue, sorry, sorry. if he is to continue to play the role that is playing within the uh, sub-region. Uh, uh, hold it. Let, let, let's excuse our colleague. Uh, <laughs> um, please take some water and... <laughs> Uh, are you okay? Um, okay, sorry. So, it, what, what this, uh, the president of um, uh, Chad is so, saying so is that they it, need more money and that if they are not efficiently funded, that they may have to pull out. We, we have a Philip. Sorry, I've been keeping you waiting. Uh, you're welcome. Yes, yes sir. Hello, Philip. Uh, how are you? I'm very fine, sir. Um, I've been following your program uh, for a long and. Um, you know, the issue of the, the, especially in Nigeria, what is happening in this country, is if our leaders would tell us the truth, if they a <coughs> suspect, and that suspect is charged to court, then we we'll know that this, they, then we we'll know that our leaders are, but they knew this, <coughs> what is happening. They knew what is happening, and they don't want to tell the truth. They, 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 our big, big men are involved into this thing. So if not, yeah, what, how will this what people did be having who? perpetrating Philip, people? Philip, yes, Philip that who, <laughs> who's involved in this thing? Yeah, they said big men are involved. We don't, but they, they are not ready to, to, to prosecute anyone. Yeah, but, but mine is, care must be taken. So when you drop any statement, 
you can you you can be asked to to prove it you know mm -hmm. as here at this table philip all we do is bring the facts available to us and help mold opinion thank you thank you for all you said i, you know? I think that um, the the point has to be made that the army announced that it had surrendered 162 killer headsmen that it arrested in raids in, Pla in, in Benue, Taraba, Benue and Taraba, to the police. So what we need to see now, what we want to see is for the police to bring these guys to justice. They should take them to court. Don't just receive people from the, from, uh, from the army and refuse to take action. Otherwise, we will not end these killings. The, the army has done its best. They lost 13 soldiers yeah. in, in fighting against these killer mm. headsmen. Mm. So now they have arrested them, including the leader of the killer headsmen, Luga. All we need to do is put these guys on trial. Let Nigerians see killer headsmen being jailed. All right. Kunle, if we I, do not serve justice to them, these killings will not end. As we, as we close, even though it's a little very painful, okay. um, Mohammed Yusuf was duly arrested by the military and handed yes. over to the police. Yes. We, knew, we know what happened and we are here paying for it. Was murdered. And here we are murdered paying for it. In the police net. Uh, okay, okay then. Um, Kunle, um, thank you for coming. I'm glad to be here. Um, I'm, I, I please just drink water and clear the, 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 the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the uh, Babaji, the men, thanks for your time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, enemy, plenty pass. Past uh, uh, this. Uh, you will come here and you'll be abusing people. <laughs> you don't know that some of them in their houses. <laughs> God, pass the help. They, they, they say at police, uh -huh. at police checkpoint, they say, stop. Who goes there? Enemy or foe? The person Both. say foe. No, no, you say foe. Because yeah. now enemy, then no. Okay, they're not no for They don't go to the... All right, come on, come on. That will be all on the program for today. <laughs> Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. But then watch a repeat broadcast of this particular edition at 11 this evening. You may also watch Journalist Hangout on other platforms showing on the screen now and on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. The news channel is the same. I want to thank you very kindly for joining us. I'm Citizen Jones Usain. Bye-bye now. May God bless this country. Bye-bye now.